Hello, everybody. Hi there. How's everybody? It is, uh, it is a wonderful pleasure to be here. My name is Jana Lee Hamblin, or Ms. Hamblin. Uh, today, we have four of our extraordinary uh, actors from the Academy. We've got Autumn Ivy Hobson. Ivy, you want to wait? Talia, Maxine, and Judah. These actors are gonna to work today. Uh, it, they're gonna actually, this is an audition class. I am a, not only a first year teacher at the Academy, I also teach auditioning, uh, acting professionally, and then I'm a director. So I chose today to do um, auditions because right now, especially in the industry during this last year, the industry has completely changed. I've been a working professional actor, uh, union card carrying actor for 28 years. I audition on a very consistent basis. So I'm very well, um, everything that I teach and know about is very current and relevant. I always like to share with all of my favorite, not my favorite, but all the actors, um, all of my failures as well as my successes. And so today what I thought is that we would do, they've got a couple of great scenes we're gonna roll this out just like they're coming in to a real virtual casting office, which is basically 90% of everything right now. No longer are we walking into offices. Um, there's about 10% still that are, but everything is on Zoom. So um, we are reading opposite readers that are on the screen. We are getting called back with producers and directors. Oftentimes their cameras are off and we're just looking right into the camera. Um, we, or sometimes we have to place different people in different parts of the room to show that we're speaking to different people this way. It's just a whole new virtual world. But once we start to get um, into it, lean into it, enjoy it, have fun with it, it's actually becoming, I'm starting to really love it. And I, I'm wondering what it's gonna be like to go back into the, into the real room. So, um, I've cast these actors. Basically, I'm acting like I'm the casting director and I'm bringing them in to audition. We're gonna run this like a real casting session. They're gonna run their scene once. I'm gonna give them a redirect. Redirect is when I want them to do something a little bit different, tweak it a little bit, you know, try it a different way. And then they're gonna do it a second time. Um, the actors, I've also asked these amazing actors if they have any questions, comments, concerns, if they need to know anything about their work, to please feel free and ask, since this is also like a teaching audition class, right? So it's not just a straightforward audition class. This is also, I want to always make sure that anybody who doesn't know or has any misunderstandings about something that they always ask, okay? So let's just jump right into it, okay? Because we've got a lot of work to do. And uh, I want you to see um, the whole process. So we are going to start with Maxine. Autumn is going to be Maxine's reader. Now, if anybody doesn't know what the, that term means yet, so uh, uh, Maxine is the auditioner. She's the one that we're bringing into the office. Autumn is going to be on the other side of the camera being her reader, which means she's going to be reading all the other parts that, that are on the page. And I don't know if anybody, if you don't know what this is, these scripts that they have, the reader has, they're called sides. So sides are what we get as our actors. We memorize our sides. All of these actors are coming into the casting office completely memorized. Um, so we're gonna start with Maxine and Autumn and uh, we will go from there. They're gonna slate first and then they're gonna go right into their scene, okay? All right, I'm going away. See you guys on the other side. Hi, my name is Maxine Rodiger and I'm currently in London. <sighs> Hello Sloan, I'm Mackenzie McHale. Hello. It's good to meet you. It's nice to meet you. Do you have a minute? Sure. Thanks. Uh, you know, I was watching you earlier when you were talking about two companies, uh, Capital One and... Uh, Baxter. Baxter, uh, yeah. And the prompter said, both of whom are hinting at good numbers. And you said, both of which are hinting at good numbers. Was that an accident? No, I didn't write that copy. I changed it to which because whom is for people. Is someone in trouble? No. What's the difference between a corporation and a person? You ever held a door open for someone? 
Yes. Did you ask them for money first? No. That's the difference. It's the right answer. Am I taking a test? I've asked around and people say you don't belong here. You could be making much more money uh, as an analyst at uh, Goldman. Can you be making a lot more money producing reality television? I do produce reality television. I don't know what to tell you. I like my job. They asked me about doing a morning show a couple times. I can't do that. I'm not interested in cooking. I make sandwiches. I get that I don't necessarily look like it, but I am an economist. Thanks, though. Yeah, I meant uh, in prime time. I want to give you five minutes every night to talk about where we are and how we got here. Are you serious? There are people more qualified than I am. I can put you in touch with some of the professors I studied under. I... Yeah, they're not going to have your legs. I'm sorry, but if I'm going to get people to listen to an economy lesson, I got to find someone who doesn't look like George Bernard Shaw. I wouldn't have asked you if I didn't think you were qualified. You want me to do pole dancing while explaining subprime mortgages? If you're up to it, sure. All right, I get it. We'll start a conversation with Will about our idea and how we're going to get there. Great. I think you and I are going to be good friends. I'd like that. Me too. Okay. I mean it. <laughs> I don't have any friends. <laughs> oh, you know, you're, you're new in town, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, you and I have something in common. What's that? I had a boyfriend who cheated on me too. Uh, the week of our wedding. I, I don't understand. I know about Will. I'm sorry, I still don't. Wait, Will didn't cheat on me. I used to deny it too. <laughs> Will didn't cheat on me. Oh, okay, sorry. I can't talk about it, but I can tell you that Will didn't cheat on me. I shouldn't have mentioned anything. Sloan, listen to me. Will didn't cheat on me. Yes, we were together for two years, then we broke up. That's all I can say. Um, yeah. He never cheated on me. He never, ever, ever cheated on me. Who told you that? Everybody. That's what people... No, 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 no. That's not what happened. You don't have to tell me what happened. I can't tell you. He doesn't want anyone in the office to know. He, he made me promise. Not because, oh, I can't talk. Oh, even though in this situation, he might. No. He really doesn't want the office to know anything. He didn't, he didn't cheat on me. I should get back to work. He's, yeah. You need to, you need to tell people that, okay? You're enabling an ass. He's, whoa. He's not an ass. Will's not an ass. He, he's the opposite of an ass. Even if he did cheat on me, which he absolutely didn't, he, he, he's definitely not an ass. Do people think that? You had to have known that. I, I thought they thought he was gruff, but, but lovable. No, they think he's an ass who cheated on you. <sighs> that, has to be, that has to be corrected. I have to start the four. Okay, okay, okay. You've got to do this. You gotta go from person to person and tell them that Will's an extraordinary man with a heart the size of a Range Rover. That, that, that there is a, a story to it that has to do, well, a lot to do with me. I, I can't tell you the story of his life, but he's the good guy. Will you tell people that? Every chance I get. You're not going to, right? No, I'm not. Okay. Thank you. Great, Maxine. Great. I want to just tweak it. We're actually going to pick it up mm -hmm. um, where she says, um, you know, uh, you know, you and I have something in common. Mm -hmm. It's on the second page. We're not going to start at the tippy top. We're going to pick it up in the middle. Yeah. You know, you and I have something in common, what's that, okay? And I just think now you can really stick it to her, Maxine. You don't need to try to be, I mean, I know you wanna be a friend, but you don't really need to be nice to her, okay? okay? If she's not being very nice to you, go ahead and toughen her up a little bit, okay? okay. Just for a new way to do it, okay. Perfect, All right. thank you. Yeah, you know, you and I have something in common. And what is that? I had a boyfriend who cheated on me too. Oh. The week of our wedding. <laughs> oh, I, I don't understand. I know about Will. I, I still don't under, wait, Will didn't cheat on me. 
I used to deny it too. Will didn't cheat on me. Oh, okay, sorry. I can't talk about what happened, but I can tell you that Will didn't cheat on me. I shouldn't have mentioned anything. Well, listen to me. Will didn't cheat on me. Yes, we were together for two years and we broke up. That's, I can't tell you anymore, but he never, ever, never cheated on me. Who told you that? Everybody. Is that what people, <laughs> that's not what happened. You don't have to tell me what happened. I can't tell you. He doesn't want anyone in the office to know. He made me promise. <sighs> not, not because I can't talk. <sighs> Even though in this situation, I prefer. <sighs> he doesn't want anyone in the office to know. Will didn't cheat on me. I should get back to work. You need to tell people that. You're enabling an ass. Whoa. Whoa, he's not an ass. Will's not an ass. He, he's absolutely not, a, he's the opposite of an ass. Even if he did cheat on me, he'd, he'd be the opposite. I mean, he's definitely not an ass. What, does, is that what people think? You had to have known that. I, th I, thought, I thought they thought he was gruff, but lovable. No, they think he's an ass who cheated on you. That must be corrected. I have to start the four. Okay, okay, you have to do this. You gotta go from person to person and tell them that Will's an extraordinary man with a heart the size of a Range Rover. That there's, there's a story to it that has to do a lot to do with me. I can't tell you his, the story of his life. But will you tell people that? He's the good one. Every chance I get. You're not gonna do it, right? No, I'm not. Okay. Thank you. Nice adjustment, Maxine. Ooh, really wait, nice asked. adjustment. <laughs> Great. Do you have any questions, Maxine? It's fast. And that's the thing I wanted to tell our, our audience that's watching. This is a classic Aaron Skin film. It's a, it's a, sorry, this is an episodic television series. Aaron Sorkin is notorious for bottle, 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 bottle. There is hardly any pauses. There's hardly any air in between the lines. So if you're wondering why they're going so quickly, it's because this is the style of the show. Okay, great job. Thanks, Max. All right, let's bring back Judah and um, our sweet Talia. And Judah is gonna be uh, auditioning. Talia is his reader. And I will see you on the other side. <laughs> Hello, my name is Judah Fabre, and I am based out of Louisiana. We stood in my office this Will. morning, and I said under no circumstances did I want anyone here to know what happened, and you said yes, and yes again, and it, it really, it really seemed like you understood. And then you sent an email. It was a complete- Explaining in some detail what happened. Please, please just let me- You know how sometimes something happens in an instant that's so astonishing that you just shut down? Of course, that's understandable. It doesn't happen to me. We need some privacy. Really? Why is this happening? I was sending an email to you, but accidentally sent it to Sloan Sabbath, but I either did or didn't type the asterisk and it went off to staff instead of Sloan. Why were you sending it at all? Because, and here's where I think I'm on firmer ground, she thought that you cheated on me and that you were an ass, which is not true. I'm changing minds, Will. I'm changing minds all over the place. She thought that you cheated on me and she told me other people thought so too. I couldn't take that, but I do take 100% of the responsibility for what just happened. Who else would be responsible? Arizona prison stats? No one, I'm sorry. Don't mention it. That's, I'm really impressed that you're forgiving me so fast. I would have. No, what you heard was don't mention it. It's no problem. Don't worry about what it. What I said was, don't mention it ever. Ever, <laughs> Mac. We lost Jan Brewer and had to replace her with a crazy professor at a website, a member of the Citizens Militia, and a former second runner-up in the Miss USA pageant. 
it's going to be fine. You'll carry them. They'll barely have to speak. Who, now you've shut down, right? <laughs> who messed up? No, you know I'm not going to tell you that. Okay. 98%. What? I take 98% of the responsibility, not 100%. Is that right? Listen, you were in love from the day you met me. And for two years, you were the man of any woman's dreams, you know? You'd have these ways of doing things. It doesn't matter. I didn't know that I was in love with you too until... You cheated on me with your ex-boyfriend. Yes. That's right, that's what happened. I didn't know how I felt about you until I was with him again. So technically, I wasn't cheating on the man I loved. I was falling in love with the man I loved. While cheating on me with your ex-boyfriend. Yes, but you're missing that technically it wasn't cheating though. It, it, the a more important thing is that I fell in love with you. At the end of the round of comedy, that would make everything okay. There is something I've always been dying to ask you. Ask anything. Why did you tell me? Because I wouldn't have been able to live with it. Now I have to live with it. Would you rather I'd have been dishonest? Yes, yes, I would much rather you hadn't told me. Still, 98%. Thank you. Judah, nice job. Nice first read. Uh, I'm going to do it again. We're going to start at the tippy top and you're going to end by the time you end, it will be your second while cheating on him with your boyfriend. It's kind of about two thirds down the second page, right? She says, she says, so technically I wasn't cheating on the man I loved. Uh, I was falling in love with the man I loved. And your last line will be while cheating on him with your ex-boyfriend. Um, just for fun, because I loved that take. Uh, completely, you could kill her. You could literally <laughs> take your hands around her neck and you could kill her. I mean, you're not going to, but behaviorally, we think we could see you actually killing her, okay? Yeah, go for it. Just go for it. We stood in my office Will. this morning and I said under no circumstances did I want anyone here to know what happened. And you said yes and yes again. And it really, it really looked like you understood. And then you sent an email. It was a complete. Explain in some detail what happened. Please, please just let me. You know how sometimes something happens in an instant that is so astonishing that you just shut down. Of course, that's- well, that um, doesn't happen to me. We need some privacy. Really? Why is this happening? Well, I was sending an email to you, but accidentally sent it to Sloan Sabbath, but I either did or didn't type the asterisk and it went off to staff instead of Sloan. Why were you sending it at all? Because, and here's where I think I'm on firmer ground. She thought that you cheated on me and that you were an ass, which is not true. I'm changing minds, Will, I'm changing minds all over the place. I'm, she thought that you cheated on me and she told me other people thought so too. I couldn't take that, but I do take 100% of the responsibility for what just happened. Who else would be responsible? Arizona prison stats! No one, I'm sorry. Don't mention me. That's... I'm really impressed that you're forgiving me so fast. I would have. Yeah, you know, what you heard was don't mention it. It's no problem. Don't worry about it. What I said was don't mention it ever. Ever, Matt. One more thing. We lost Jan Brewer and had to replace her with a, with a crazy professor at a website, a member of Citizens Militia, and a former second runner up in the Miss USA pageant. It's going to be fine. You'll carry them. They'll barely have to speak. Now you shut down, right? <laughs> Who messed up? Now, you know I'm not going to tell you that. Okay. 98%.
What? I take 98% of the responsibility, not 100%. Is that right? Listen, you were in love from the day you met me. And for two years, you were the man of any woman's dreams, you know? You'd have these ways of doing things. It doesn't matter. I didn't know that I was in love with you too, until- You cheated on me with your ex-boyfriend. Yes, that's right. That's what happened. I didn't know how I felt about you until I was with him again. So technically I wasn't cheating on the man I loved. I was falling in love with the man I loved. While cheating on him with your ex-boyfriend. Thank you. Great adjustment, Judah. A completely different version. You knocked that one right out. You took the note and you ran with it. Now, here's the thing. They might not even want to see. I mean, it's it's all I know now is that you are directable and you take the adjustment and you just went for it without judgment. Can everybody come back on real quick? I'm going to hop off and then everybody come back on. Hold on. Hi. Um, great. Beautiful. You actors are all you just got done if, in case you haven't yet you have just professionally auditioned this is exactly what a producer session looks and feels like exactly okay you all just did it i'm so honored you guys you did so great thank you so much from the moment i reached out to you guys uh, just until we're sitting here right now you've shown up as such just total professional actors i have i cannot wait to see how your careers unfold before me for real yeah really nice job really great thank you so much i mean that from the bottom of my heart thank you Ms. Amla. yeah my pleasure thank and so for those of you who are watching us watching everybody come join us at the american academy where we have a great time and we work really really hard all right okay everybody thank you Bye. <laughs>